Hi. Hi, it's Linda from Nutrisystem Live. We are so happy to have you visit us today. Today we are going to be talking about how to fit Nutrisystem into your busy schedule because we all have these busy schedules and how do we fit all these things that we're trying to do in, 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 our, in our new food regime, if you will. Anyway, today we have our local expert, Mike. He is our online weight loss counselor and you get to say hi, Doug. Say hi. Hello everyone, I'm Mike and I am an online support counselor. <laughs> Here to help you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a funny guy. So um, so we posted uh, a little earlier if any of you had questions. But um, so the, some of the questions that we have are how, you know, again, how do you fit it into your busy schedule? And so we had people that are salespeople or work odd hours. How do you, um, how do you work that in? Mm. So if you want to just, mm -hmm. if you're... Absolutely. I mean, if you're working uh, odd hours, you're working at night, you know, if you're a nurse or if you're a truck driver, a lot of those foods are very portable. So you can take some of those bars with you. Uh, you can take some of the muffins with you. So they're very portable. You can take them with you, uh, eat them anywhere, anytime. So it really helps to fit in uh, anytime in your schedule. You can also pick up power fuels and smart carbs that are very portable. Um, I personally like a little tangerines that you can take with you. I love those. Uh, yeah, string cheese uh, is a very popular item as well. So you want to think portable foods. Think portable and bring them with you. Just a quick question. Mm -hmm. String cheese, power fuel or smart car? <laughs> Definitely a power fuel. So when you think of power fuels, think of nutty animals. Nutty animals running around your living room. I okay? <laughs> can't believe you're saying that. Because nutty are nut products. And animal products like meat or, or, or chicken or tuna or fish or anything like that. Uh, and also animal-based products like dairy. Uh, so these are all power fuels. So that's how you can remember what a power fuel is, is thinking nutty animals running around your living room. So string cheese is definitely a power fuel. Nutty animals, you heard it here first. So go run to the news and say, hey, power fuels are nutty animals. I love it. Anyway, so anything that you can do to help remind yourself what these types of things are, and if nutty animals remind you that those are what power fuels are, that is a great little crib sheet, sneak cheat, you know, rather than shortcut to remember those things, you know, you, how you remembered like uh, Rainbow Roy G. Biv. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, so that's great. So if you have, uh, so. Mike was talking about portability. Portability is really great. So can you talk to us about, um, let's say I work the night shift. So that means that I sleep all day and then when I wake up, I wanna have dinner with my family, but then there's breakfast that I can have. Mm -hmm. So it, I know my body's all, that, you know, they say my body's all mixed up anyway, so how do I, how do I get around that? Can I mm -hmm. still have that, that meal with my family? So you mm -hmm. sound like you know what you're talking about, so yeah. here you go. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, so no, that's a great question, Linda. And uh, your metabolism is working, you know, nonstop. So you just want to think about eating every two to three hours. So you can start your schedule when you start. So every two to three hours, just think, okay, get in my Nutrisystem meal, another two to three hours goes by, get in your snack, and so on and so forth. So you can arrange the entire schedule around what you're doing at work. So um, when the day is over, you know, you're done, and uh, you can have uh, breakfast with your family or dinner with your family. You can start your day whenever you want, and I think we have a little comment there. We do. My husband and I are going on a three-day retreat for the long <laughs> holiday weekend coming up. Can you recommend something that I can do, something I can bring? I'm not sure how to handle this. Alexa, I'm with you because I'm okay. going away this weekend too and here let's ask Mike what yeah, his suggestions absolutely. are. Hang on. Yeah. Hi Alexa, how you doing? So um, yeah, so again you just want to bring uh, some of the portable Nutrisystem foods with you. Uh, if you have a cooler, you know, take a cooler with you. Uh, you can also put in some of your power fuel, smart carbs, your vegetables as well in the cooler uh, while you're going on that uh, three-day journey. Uh, so uh, yeah, yeah, just think portability. And then let's talk about smart carbs. Okay. And then how can we get smart carbs to be more portable? Because you know, mm. if I was Alexa, cause you'd want to take some Good stuff question. with you. And then mm -hmm. how do you get those things to be portable? So I get it, the power fuels, you know, I can take, I can take my nutty animals with me, but yeah. how do I do yeah. the uh, smart carbs? Right, part? well with smart carbs, um, you know, you want to think uh, 
grains, granola bars are a good uh, portable option for smart carbs. Uh, again, uh, you know, you can take the fruits in the cooler. That's also a good way to uh, get your smart carbs in. Um, I believe dried fruit, you can also have a uh, dried fruit as well as a smart carb. Just remember you're looking for that one gram of fiber for every 80 to 120 calories. So these are all portable options that you can pop in that cooler with you and take it with you and enjoy your vacation and still maintain that weight loss. I know you kind of, I, I, I know you would love to do that. You're, you've spent all this time losing weight, you don't want to go away, and then you blow the whole thing, and then of course, you know, we'll all have those moments where, we have, where, we're, where we're weak, or we end up you know, not doing exactly what we should, we should forgive ourselves and, mm -hmm. and, and turn around. But if we have mm -hmm. a plan, we should be able to, uh, to turn it around. So you want to talk about planning? Do we have a phrase about planning? <laughs> Uh, yes, plan ahead. <laughs> that's that's no, the simple wait, way to wait, do it. Isn't, it. isn't it if you fail to plan, then you mm -hmm. Yeah, plan. if you fail to plan, there you, we know, go. you plan to fail. So that's right. That is a, a very a very common saying. But yeah, <laughs> making a plan is very important. So, you know, the first thing you think about when you get up in the day, you know, while you're uh, in the bathroom, you know, putting on your makeup or brushing your teeth is you're just thinking about, okay, I'm going to stick with the plan today. And uh, just having that mental kind of concentration, kind of being able to just Take a moment, take a step back, center yourself, and just you know recognize. Okay, this is what I'm doing. Um, you know, there's room for flexibility as far as what foods you choose, as far as the Nutrisystem foods or the uh, Power Fuel, Smart Carbs, and vegetables. But you know, you want to win the day. You know, that's that's the goal. Win the day because when you win the day, you know, you keep winning the day. You win the week. You win the month. You win the year. You win the goal. Uh, so it all just starts by planning to win the day. So, plan the day. Little wins every day. So these, this is this is what to do. And then Anita uh, would love to join and need some help. Um, Anita, we have online weight loss counselors. If you want to call somebody, wait, can you want to give them the number? The, Anita, you can call us. Hang on. Yeah, call call me, Anita. I'll, I'll be working tonight. So um, actually, I'm going to be on the online support chat. So uh, if you want to chat in, I'll be here to support you. But uh, yeah, just give us a call at that number that uh, is listed on uh, the website. Oh, there and, you go. Uh, yeah, the absolutely. Yeah, we have a couple different numbers, but the one on the website will work just as well. So, <laughs> yeah. So we're we're here to help. There are people that uh, if you would love to join, we we want you to 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 be part of this. And then so if we can talk about. Oh, you're welcome, Anita. You're welcome. Huh? Right on the spot. We're helping people. And um, so when we talk about um, vegetables mm -hmm. and those types of things, so mm. we keep on hearing again and again that you need to. Be in love with vegetables so um, so when you're traveling at, or mm -hmm. when you're when you're um, working odd hours can you talk about um, how you could uh, take vegetables with you and and maybe you could even tell mm -hmm. us like what your favorite vegetables Absolutely. are I would love to I would love to uh, so I get pretty creative with my vegetables because I'm on the go a lot uh, I work a lot here at Nutrisystem and I'm on the go myself and um, what I like to do is I like to juice um, my vegetables or I like to uh, blend them in um, if you have limited extras for the day you can use almond milk or soy milk that's a that's a great option I like to actually blend my spinach and my kale in with uh, vegetable juice so it's kind of like a super you know super powerful vegetable shot um, and the thing is you know you can make up a lot of that all in one shot and uh, you know kind of store it in like a in a in a container or in a thermos and uh, you can take that with you as well too and uh, drink your veggies right and then there's like um, some like uh, cold gazpacho soup which mm. is um, all vegetables and you could kind of probably put that in like a cold thermos and hang out and, and do that oh Darina lost 60 pounds trying to keep it off for two years doing it on low carbs doesn't seem mm -hmm. to lose it around the waist so I don't okay. think you can spot lose anyway but here yeah, you go. absolutely no I mean that's that's, that's a great uh, point Darina uh, so uh, absolutely I mean the waist is the is the last thing to go uh, so, you know, keep the faith, you know, um, you know, please give us a call too. We're here to help and to talk you through with some of the things too. But if you're combining a, uh, a, a, the right diet program for you with the appropriate uh, activity for, for you, um, you know, you're going to lose all over and then the waste is the last to go. Uh, so, uh, you know, keep plugging away at that. Um, you know, sometimes a little knowledge will go a long way. So please feel free to contact us and we'll, uh, you know, kind of tinker a little bit with that, uh, with that diet and see, uh, you know, see what would be more effective for you. Did you know that I didn't even say anything about kale? I don't really love kale. 
but <laughs> I'm in I'm in the minority. I, I think maybe uh, the silent minority because I can't believe I'd be the only one who didn't like kale. But anyway, I liked all the other vegetables, so they're good. Uh, it tastes but different when they're blended. It blends them in these, <laughs> in these shakes. Like who can drink that? Anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> so if um, so, what I wanted to ask you was, what is your favorite Nutrisystem um, entree? My favorite Nutrisystem entree is the red velvet whoopie pie. <laughs> it's. I'm sorry, Mike. It's <laughs> not an entree. I do love the red velvet. Well, could we actually say an entree instead? It's a sandwich. <laughs> it's in sandwich form. Uh, no, but I do. I mean, speaking of sandwiches, I do like the hamburgers. Uh, in fact, I like to get a little bit of string cheese and put that on the hamburger and make it a cheeseburger. So it's kind of like a meal and power fuel combination. So that's one of my favorites. I'm also pretty partial to the red beans and rice. I do like that uh, double chocolate muffin as well. So uh, I'm a chocoholic myself so yep i'm with you with the chocolate the chocolate <laughs> i totally agree the turbo shakes they're, they're, they're pretty good they're pretty they're slim anyway um so alexa says she gets nervous about switching things up so much so she's mm. wondering if she can eat a nutrisystem dinner entree for lunch and eat a lunch entree mm -hmm. for dinner i hit a plateau so i've been Ooh. thinking wait there's more thinking about mixing things up, but I thought mm -hmm. she should ask, Alexa, you should ask the experts. You're in the right <laughs> spot. Here you go. Hi, Alexa. How are you? <laughs> uh, so no, that's a great strategy. Switching the uh, the lunch and the dinner is a, is a good way to help uh, break a plateau. It gets more uh, calories out. Uh, in the uh, center of the day when you're more active and it also cuts off a little bit more calories in the evening which is a, which is a good strategy. If you're on a plateau, uh, again, I've said this many times throughout this chat, but please, Give us a call. Um, you know, we'll kind of tinker around with uh, what's what's going on with your activity and also with your with your meal plan, and we'll find out how to break that plateau for you. But great, great idea. Switching around the uh, the lunch and the dinner. Yep, great start. So I think what Mike's trying to say is don't worry so much. If you mix it up, you know, it's lunch for dinner, dinner for lunch. It's a good thing. Variety is the spice of life. Um, and so I want to ask you a question. So we already know what your favorite. Andre is the red, <laughs> red velvet whoopie pie, but um, so you know we're all we all do these jobs for different reasons, and uh, so I wanted to ask you why do you do what you do? Why did you mm -hmm. choose to be a weight loss counselor? Uh, sorry, an online. I'm sorry, messing mm -hmm. up. It's an online weight loss counselor, and so why did you decide to do that over what other things you could do? Oh, wow. And um, and then if you want mm -hmm. to tell us, you know, like what what a day, great day looks like, or something yeah, absolutely. Like that. No, no. I mean, I I, I love my job. Uh, this is uh, something that is a passion for me. So, you know, it's it's a nice little uh, it's a nice little combination of science and art. So I like to think of myself as a scientist and an artist. Um, but uh, you know, it's really it's really about just uh, people helping people uh, reach their goals. Um, I think of myself as a coach and a friend uh, to people. I like people a lot. Um, so I know that reaching a goal like, um, you know, like, like losing weight, there's more to it than just losing weight. It's about making a life change. And that's something that I'm really personally passionate about. I help, uh, I help people make that lifestyle change. And that's why, uh, you know, I come to each day with a lot of energy. I really enjoy it. And I like talking to people. So a good day for me is uh, being able to reach more people like this uh, on this uh, little chat forum. <laughs> I, I, I am a little bit of a hand as you can tell um, but uh, you know a good day for me is just having uh, intelligent conversations really talking to people also about you know what their you know you know what their fears are and helping people overcome those fears um, and that is also by offering knowledge you know giving a giving the motivation and uh, just letting people know hey we're here for you you're never alone um, I find that uh, you know you'll be more successful in reaching your goals you know when you're reaching out nobody ever completely succeeds alone and what uh, lights me up every day coming here is uh, you know being able to be a support system and I, and I take just as much pleasure in in your successes um, you know every single day so that's 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 a great day for me I know um, so we do the same thing where where I what the part of the job that I love is I love to hear people's success stories but not just the success stories, mm -hmm. the kind of the in-between stories, because we always say like there's a beginning and then there's an end. But along the way, there's always some some stories and things that, that happen, um, things that people overcame, like these plateau moments mm -hmm. that really are defining. And they and then you can look back on them and go, oh my gosh, I mm -hmm. can't believe I totally did that. So, um, so, Q-Qui, uh, she has, a, she has a, a dry pack of shakes and it did get me on the right track. Mm. My question is, do they have an expiration date? I don't know. 
know the answer to that one. Are you good? Well, uh, there might be a Best Buy date, uh, which should be listed on there based on the time that you had received them. Um, we can advise you whether or not uh, those would be okay to consume. So, you know, let us know. Give us a call, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll we'll check into that for you, Ms. Martinez. Yeah, there. If there's um. If you can't find the number, there might be like a lot number or something. So if you called, we can definitely True. find out yeah. what that is. But uh, so what do you, I know we've talked about this. What do you wish that every customer knew <laughs> before they called? Because I know a lot of people call and you're like, oh, I just wish somebody would, uh, you know, that, you know, so why don't you share what your advice is? Absolutely. Uh, what I, what I would like everybody to know is that, uh, you know, weight loss is more than just the foods. Um, weight loss is about what you're learning along the way. And we want to help you, you know, learn about nutrition we want to help you learn about activity so um, when it comes to permanent results when it comes to maintaining weight loss um, I just want to let people know and I just want to let you know that you know the magic is in you and uh, we want to help you really to uh, we want to we want to support you in that knowledge so that you can apply that knowledge you know for the rest of your you know weight loss endeavors if you want to call it that um, so, uh, you know, that, that is something that I uh, would like everybody to know is that uh, Nutrisystem is not just about what you're doing right now. It's about what you're learning. It's about the relationships you're forming as well, too, here with our, with our counseling team so that we can help you create lifelong habits to be able to maintain that weight loss for the rest of your life. And, you know, we, we want that for you. So, uh, you know, it's not just about, you know, it's not just about the foods, you know, it's about the knowledge that comes along with it. Pretty inspirational for a guy who calls himself a ham. That's what I have to say. So um, let's see. Uh, Lisa DeMeo says it works. Yes, Lisa, it works. So for for many people, it it it, it works. So um, I have uh, a couple more questions that I wanted to ask you. So when you're, I don't know. We've we've got a couple of questions here, but. You know, we know what your favorite entree is. We've talked about power fuels and kale. Um, who <laughs> likes kale? But um, so um, there's always those moments where you have to choose something that you may have to go to a party or something like that, and you may have to choose kind of the wrong thing because because you didn't plan ahead, or there may be a moment in your life where you're like, okay, didn't have what I needed. And so what can you mm -hmm. suggest to people? Because picnics are coming up, people Absolutely. are going away, mm -hmm. may not always have everything. So if you're on the go, what can you use? Yeah, well, I mean, the first uh, first choice is obviously that veggie tray. So there's normally somebody, I'm usually the guy who brings the veggie tray to all the parties. So, um, you know, there's always the veggie tray you can look out for. Uh, also, when in doubt, proteins. You know, look for whatever has, uh, you know, the most amount of protein. Um, so uh, that will definitely be beneficial. Uh, I think I was just at a picnic the other day where they had little mozzarella balls and uh, I, I, I kind of snacked on the mozzarella balls as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, protein is good. Uh, limit the carbs, you know, li limit, uh, you know, limit the, the chips or the, or anything like that and uh, you'll be in good shape. So, um, with that, you have, um, so you can do the veggie tray, which now Mike is officially getting invited to every single party that I have. He's going to cut the veggies and bring them. I don't use, I don't bring kale on those, by the way. <laughs> he doesn't bring kale on those. So he can definitely come to, to any picnic I have going forward. So I know who I'm inviting. And then, um, you know, stay away from the carbs, ditch the bun, have extra um, proteins, that kind of stuff. I never actually saw mozzarella balls mm. at a picnic, but I'm willing to go wherever they are because that sounds great. I out of the salad. <laughs> <laughs> the salad. The salad is good too. I mean, and fill up on those things before you go to the hot dogs. So um, Amanda says, absolutely love Nutrisystem, but I'm curious to know if you'll be going back to the previous vendor for the pizza since Ooh. there's been a lot of yeah. complaints about, hang on, mm -hmm. the pizzas. So sad to see the new pizzas being so much less in taste and quality, hoping mm -hmm. for good news. Okay, Amanda. I think we're ready to handle this one. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're always looking to improve the quality. So, uh, you know, please give us your feedback. You know, let us know. It does make a difference. Um, so, uh, you know, posts like this as well, you know, we all take it very seriously and we do give the feedback, uh, you know, to the powers that be here at Nutrisystem. Um, so, uh, you know, we're just looking to improve the quality of, uh, of all of the items. So, uh, yeah, if enough people say things, we're going to well, make it. People hate change. I, yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. I know. And then there's some things that you just have to, um, you know, some changes 
happen and they stink and sometimes the changes are actually better I don't know I didn't try have not tried the new pizza yet but um, we have heard those so if you, so the feedback on the website we actually listen to I mean we actually will take the suggestions and stuff that are on the website so we're we're happy to listen to those when you rank the food and stuff like that so that's actually part of part of what we do so um, because there are those people well, the white bean chicken chili. So people will, will read the, the descriptions because I think at one point it was a little spicier than what it is mm -hmm. now and people were complaining about it. And then I think it was reformulated or something like mm -hmm. that. Anyway, um, so your uh, what you have to say is uh, definitely taken into consideration and mm -hmm. it is generally not a you know right now thing, but we can definitely do that. So moving on, um, if you're going to cheat, let's say <laughs> <laughs> and um and you you have let's say not not necessarily cheap but let's say that mm -hmm. you're at the end of a week you ha you've reached your goal mm -hmm. you're at your goal weight you want to have something and you're mm -hmm. ready to treat yourself and you've exercised and you've reached all these things and you're like i want to have something what do you have oh you know uh, it's, it's a good question. I mean, I do, uh, I, I am partial to, uh, you know, the, a little bit of fast food every now and then. So, uh, you know, I, I know in good portions, you know, it's not going to hurt you in the long run. So, you know, drop the fear about, you know, just having a little meal every once in a while. So if you go for the small cheeseburger at McDonald's, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Something that I uh, enjoy quite a bit is uh, I like making uh, chicken with different spices. Uh, so, um, you know, if you get a good spice, uh, you know, cooking with the chicken, you get a nice little uh, power fuel going on there. Uh, and you can recreate the taste of something that uh, might be a, a little bit more tastier uh, in, in, than just plain chicken. So. Very cool. So that, I mean, that's a good, if, you're, if fast food is your thing, you want to try one thing. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, in I a small like portion size. Small yeah. portion, I get the, get the kid size meal, you get a toy, and I usually ditch the fries and go for the apples yeah. if I was going to do that. Anyway, yeah. um, so Amanda said thanks. And by the way, she does rock. I do rock, yes. And Amanda, you rock too. And she's lost uh, 30 pounds in two months. Wow, that's amazing. Here, say congratulations. Yeah, that's great, Amanda. Congratulations. You know, come a long way. Holy yeah. cow, 30 pounds in two months. Okay, so... Um, Emily wants to know, how do we know when recipes have been reform reformulated? I'm the mm. one who thought the white chicken, chili, and vegetarian was super spicy. Yeah. How do we know when we try? How do we know when we when to try again? Mm. Oh, that's a good that's a good question. Do you know the answer to that? Um, I, I, don't know I can give you that. indicators. Um, so in, if you're on an, an auto delivery program and you start to see that uh, it looks like that there's an item that may have been discontinued, it's not discontinued, it's just been reformulated and recoded. So that gives you kind of a clue that there might have been a little bit of a change in some of the food. So that right there is something that you can be on the lookout for. And this is why we have asked the expert, because this dude knows, because I had no idea. <laughs> but anyway, he spends a lot of time with you guys on phones and on chat, so um, it's definitely a good thing. And um, so we don't have any more questions, oh, no. and I don't have any more questions for you, although I think we could probably chat a lot more about the nutty animals. I thought that was pretty <laughs> funny. So do you want to just say your final... Yeah, no, everyone, thanks again for uh, having me here. I want to thank you for watching. Um, so please, uh, you know, uh, give us a call, chat in. You know, we'd love to interact with you. Uh, we'd love to, uh, you know, we'd love to help you. Uh, this is a passion for, for us and, uh, you know, hope to, uh, you know, chat with me tonight. I'll be on. <laughs> I know, it's a passion of mine too. I love hearing from you guys. So, oh, that's why Emily says, thanks. I've always wondered why things disappeared, but we're listed again, Emily. <laughs> the world has. <laughs> so anyway, Aww. so you're welcome. And, oh wait, so uh, wait, just one more. Kathy okay, wants Kathy. to know, why does the hamburger and the chicken come with a bun, but the barbecue doesn't? Don't know. Do we know the answer to that one? Um, if you're referring to the frozen entrees, um, usually uh, the frozen lunches will come with a with a bun because that can be um, you know frozen and stored pretty well. Um, the, the barbecue dishes you'd have to add your own bun uh, because that is normally a non-frozen item, I believe, and uh, that way you know you can add your own bun. You know it's a nice fresh button bun, and you're good to go. See, you know what? The dude knows. So anyway, Mike is available. He's chatting tonight, so if you want to chat. Anyway, so we have been so excited that you're here, and we love to hear all your questions, uh, even the tough ones. So keep them coming, and thank you so much for tuning in to Nutrisystem Live. We'll see you in two weeks. Happy 4th, and stay safe. Bye!